Okay guys, we did spelling, we did read aloud, we did history and Spanish. Uh, let's see what's next. Oh boy, uh, let's just skip that. How about we do some writing? Yeah, let's do writing. As a homeschool mom and as our kids get older, and we have to teach them junior high and senior high subjects. It really does get more difficult. And I completely understand how it can be scary to teach subjects that we are not strong in. For me, for example, I'll take the humanities or the arts. So book clubs, diving into history and timelines, grammar sentences, or music and drama, if you give me that, I could do that all day. But when it comes to the math and sciences, I have to outsource these subjects. I decided this past year to outsource science for my seventh grader to Life Science by BJU Press Homeschool. I'm excited to share with you today how we use it and why I like it, even though it uses a textbook and I don't usually like textbooks. Before we get into it, welcome to Joyful Noise Learning. If we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Ashley. I'm a homeschool mom to three kiddos and I've been homeschooling them since 2013. I'm also a former English teacher. My mission here is to help you grow in your homeschool and build it according to your kids' needs. That way you can find joy in your family and honor Jesus. Here, I love to talk about Charlotte Mason inspired homeschool as well as biblically based curriculum. So if you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing and hitting that like button and sticking around for a little bit. All right, so let's jump into the review. It's what you're here for anyway, right? This life science course comes with streaming video lessons, a textbook, the lab sheets, and the online course setup in Homeschool Hub. More about that later. I have to give you a disclaimer though. I was not compensated for this video. All my opinions are my own, but I was graciously gifted the curriculum in exchange for my honest thoughts. So now you know. Also, PS, we got the fourth edition of Life Science because there was no video lessons for the newer fifth edition last year when we got this. The fifth edition for Life Science has the video lessons out now, so I would recommend that you check that out and get the fifth edition. But we're, we're talking about the fourth edition in this video, but there you go. The first thing that I like about life science for my 13 year old is that I don't have to teach it and she can do it all on her own. And that was probably the main reason why I picked it for this year. I usually prefer using living books for our curriculum. And in all honesty, I've figured out how to do that for our language arts and our history. But I have struggled with how to do science with living books over the last couple years. I've, had, I've done it in different ways, but I haven't loved some of the living books that we have used for our science in the past. And if you don't know what a living book is, I have a video here, you can check it out and watch that after you watch this video if you'd like to learn more about how we use living books in our homeschool. And also in the past when my kids were younger for science, we had a wonderful time at doing nature study and we had just a great time with that and I wouldn't change that for the world especially for my oldest. She was always really into nature and loved just getting outside, being with, uh, watching the birds, looking for the flowers, looking for the bugs even. But now that she's getting older, she needed more of a challenge. So since I'm not strong at teaching science as a homeschool mom, I knew I needed to call in somebody else to help me out with my shortcomings. So since I'm not strong in teaching science myself, I knew it was time to call on somebody else to help me with my shortcomings as a homeschool mom. Yes, hi, hello, BJU Press. I need someone else to come and teach my kids science. So like I said, we've tried living books in the past, but my child really just wanted to go deeper with science, so I had to call in the big guns. So yes, I love this curriculum because I don't have to teach it. It's one thing that's off my plate, so that way I can focus on the things that I am strong in like the grammar and the literature and the history, uh, or even music, you know, all the fun things like that. The video lessons are great. There are very capable teachers at BJU Press and they try to keep these lessons interesting and engaging and they really don't take too long. So my daughter is not sitting on a computer all day long with her lessons. But really it's like hiring a teacher and having them come over to my house to teach science. 
Hi, I'm so glad you're here. I really needed that science teacher. We're gonna go downstairs and then you can do all your classes down there. So come on, come on. And then as far as the textbook, she can read it on her own. And I love how pretty it is. <laughs> the pictures in it are so pretty and they're just super interesting to look at. And they BJU Press does a really good job with their gorgeous textbooks. The next reason that I love life science for my seventh grader was it is biblically based. It's a biblically based curriculum. So I personally had the experience to go and visit BJU Press's headquarters last year, and I really got to hear their heart for their education for homeschool families and Christian schools. I was really impressed and inspired by their desire to give every student who uses their resources and their courses a God-centered and biblical worldview education. They really put a lot of heart and soul into their products. <laughs> like seriously, there's a huge team that works on this. There's a lot of checks and balances. There's a lot of people putting their heart and soul into this. Having a biblically based education is one of my biggest reasons for homeschooling. It's one of the reasons why I left teaching in the public school because I didn't want my kids to be there and to have a, for quite frankly, secularly based um, non-God focused education. So I love teaching my kids about the Lord and pointing to scripture. And that is exactly what BJU Press does in all of their resources, uh, especially in science. They can point to God in everything they teach. So if you wanna learn more about my homeschooling why and how you can figure out what your homeschooling why is, I do have a video on that on my channel as well. So you can watch that one here too. So yes, I especially wanted science to be taught from a biblical perspective. There was a chapter in this life science course that was about creation science. So it hit a little bit on dinosaurs. It hit on the difference between evolution and creation. It hit on um, young earth versus old earth perspectives. And it, she was able to learn about all the different perspectives, but it was from a biblical worldview. And she actually really liked that section. That was a really cool unit that she liked. And I'm glad that was touched on in this life science curriculum. The last thing I like about the resources from BJU Press is that Homeschool Hub keeps me organized. So especially since I'm not teaching this and I'm not creating the lesson plans for this and I'm all I'm doing is really grading things and looking at things as she finishes them, BJU Press has a resource called Homeschool Hub where this course kind of lives. And that's where she's gonna find her videos, it's where she finds her assignments, it's where she finds the tests and the quizzes, and it's all there in this one spot on this homeschool hub. And I have been really enjoying this because it's digitally kept and I can adjust things as we go. For example, I can adjust the schedule if we need to. I can make it where it's two days a week or three days a week or Monday, Wednesday, Friday that she does science. Because in our home, we don't do science every day. It's not a core subject for us. So I have her do it most days a week, but not all days. And then if we get behind because of breaks or illnesses, I can easily pop in there and change it again because you never wanna be behind, right? <laughs> you always wanna keep on track. Another really cool thing about this is the Homeschool Hub is a resource you can use for any kind of course. You can put in your own courses manually or your own lessons or cl classes or plans whatever you have for your kids. So they have their entire school day all in one spot. Or if you're using all BJU Press curriculum, you can have every single one of those things in one spot. I don't see a use for it now with how I do elementary education right now. Um, we're pretty laid back and I don't necessarily need to keep track of that much stuff. So I don't use it for my elementary kids, but I could see as my daughter gets older and gets into other courses that it would be a really helpful tool for using for junior and senior high, especially for keeping track of things like credits and things like that. I'll be honest, here's a little honest, honest session right here, confessions from Ashley. Uh, <laughs> after Christmas or right before Christmas, I would say up until end of February, I was not checking on her science. I was making sure she did it but I wasn't checking on Homeschool Hub. I wasn't checking where she was at. And what turned out happening is she was just watching the videos and then she would move on to the next video. And then whenever she was doing science, she would just do the next video. She wasn't doing any of the lab sheets that she needed to do. She wasn't reading the textbook, I don't think. And she missed a couple tests. So that being said, you as the homeschool mom can't check out <laughs> when you're doing this. 
it's not a full on like, here, you do it, and then just let her go. You really do, you can learn from my mistake, and you really do need to check in and be there for the accountability. I might recommend even weekly checking in instead of every three months. <laughs> um, I don't always check in every week, but since I figured out how behind she was on certain things, I've been checking in on a daily basis <laughs> right now, but I'm gonna move that to every week or every two weeks again, once she is back to the routine of doing all the components of her assignment. So I think it's a good tool to learn, to be self-paced and self-motivated and to be diligent in the work that you've been given and not just slacking off and just doing the easy things. So that's been a good lesson for her as we have used Homeschool Hub and this life science course. Okay, now here's the big question you might be asking, is it interesting and how do we use it? Because I didn't specifically show that exactly, but yes, I think it's very interesting. One thing that I think is really neat is she will tell me what she's learning. <laughs> She'll be like, oh, I learned about this today in my science course. And oh, I like we'd be talking about something and something would come up. I can't think of a specific example right now, but something would come up and she'd be like, oh yeah, I just heard about that in science, blah, 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 blah. And she'll tell us what she learned. So she is open to sharing what is going on in her life science course. And it's just been really neat to watch that. And for my, for my 13 year old, she is specifically interested in science, especially life science. She's always, like I said before, she's always been into nature, plants and animals. She wants to do gardening. Uh, she wants to, you know, breed dogs someday. So, so this has kind of just gone deeper with her own interests, which I think is really great. That's really definitely how I want to do education at this point. And not just, you know, do this course because it was made for seventh graders, even though, yes, it was. And I think that's great, but I think it's good and it's okay for it to fit her interests. And it really, really does. So um, it helped her go deeper into her own interests. And I'll be honest, that being said, I felt like this was an advanced course um, that a child who maybe is not as advanced in science or is not as advanced in working independently may struggle with this course. I think it is good for someone who's ready to go deeper and ready to work hard and work on their own, do a lot of textbook reading on their own. Uh, your, your child really has to be ready for that. So I feel like it's closer to a high school level in my opinion, but I know that a lot of things BJU Press does is a fairly advanced level. So that's my opinion on that. So a little bit about how we use it, like I shared earlier, we don't do it every day. I am not one to schedule, you know, five lessons of science every single day because in our course of our week, we do not have time for it because we have other things that we do. And I know if she was in a building and going to school, she'd have an hour set aside every day for science, but it's not necessarily what we have in our homeschool right now. So I have her do it. There was a time where she loved it so much and I think she was doing it four days a week, but I only require two to three days a week of science. And then again, if she doesn't finish the entire lesson when she's done with her science for the day, she just picks up where she left off the next time she does her science. So I don't make her complete an entire lesson in one day either. So we are really going through it a lot slower then what's kind of recommended? There's like 180 days of lessons. So obviously if she's only doing it two or three days a week, it's gonna take longer. So she did start it in January of 2023 and it's gonna take her about a year and a half to go through it um, if we diligently do all of the lessons. And I had asked her, there. I was noticing she wasn't gonna finish it as quickly as I thought she could. And I said, hey, you can skip a couple units if you would like and we can move on and move through it a little quicker more quickly, more quicker. Anyway, uh, <laughs> and she said to me, she didn't want to, she wanted to do all the units. And I said, okay, all right, great. And it might even go into the summer or she might end up finishing it at the beginning of next year, but I would like her to jump into her next course by the beginning of next school year. And I've heard from the BJU press creators that you are able to pick and choose what you do. They don't have to do every single lesson, every single worksheet, every single thing. And that's okay. They just give you, I've noticed they give you a lot and then 
if you can do it all, great, but they know that you may not get to all of it and that's okay. You don't have to feel like you have to check every box or if you look at all the lessons included and you're thinking, wow, this is way too much. I don't think we could all do all of that. And that's true and that's okay. Like in Homeschool Hub, you can go in there really easily and just click skip and it help your kid get back on track if you're going to skip something. As far as the labs, there are some lab um, uh, activities included in this, which I thought were really cool and I thought she was gonna love. But it turns out she hasn't been doing a lot of them. So she's probably only done about half. There's some lab sheets to do. Uh, there's usually a part of the video of the lesson that does the labs on the video, but I went ahead and purchased some of the items for the labs that she could do here at home. And so far she's only done a few on her own here at home. Um, but she's mostly watched the video and then just watched how they do the lab and then she takes notes on the sheet for that. Uh, one thing I also like is there's a notes sheet that she can print out for each chapter and it, she just kind of fills it in with, it's like fill in the blank, fills in the, the chapter notes as she listens to the video and reads through the textbook. And I think that's a really great um, note taking skill that she's learning and it's something she can use in future courses or if she goes to college someday. So I really enjoyed that piece as well. So there you go, ladies and or gentlemen. This is why we love using seventh grade life science from BJU Press. In conclusion, it is a solid science course that I don't have to teach and she enjoys learning from and it's very thorough and biblically based. We are actually looking forward to using more science courses and we'll most likely jump into earth science for eighth grade for next year. As always, please let me know if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I would love to hear if you've used this course or if you're looking into it or what have you used for science and have what has worked for you in the past. And have you used a textbook curriculum or have you used something else for science? I would love to hear. Let's chat about that in the comments. And please check the links below for if you are interested in this course and would like to learn more, you can check out BJU Press's website. There's a link in the description below. And go find joy in Jesus and in your family. And I'll see you in the next one.